So I recently went to Adidas employee store, got a pair of sneakers right here that I figured I'd show you guys. And this is a pair of the Chinese New Year DNA uh, sneakers right here, but I wanted to uh, just kind of look at them and see what the whole DNA thing was about. And while I was there, I actually got another pair here from the Chinese New Year pack because it looks so good. Ultra Boost 20s uh, that uh, I figured I'd show you guys both of them in this video. What is going on guys, Hess here at CollectiveKicks.com. If you guys want to shop this week's top sneaker deals, check the link in the description. At this time, if you guys actually want to get 30% off of Adidas clearance prices, they have a pretty good sale right now. The best one that I've seen and I've mentioned over and over, Ultra Boost 19s for only $88. Uh, it's not that much of a step up from the Ultra Boost 20. Both of them are really good models and 88 bucks sure beats 180. But in this video, I was really just more curious about this pair of sneakers right here. This is the Chinese Near version of the Ultra Boost and this model is actually called the DNA. So I wanted to kind of explore that a little bit more. So when I look to Adidas website and, and look up the Ultra Boost DNA shoes, it says it's born as a technical running shoe in 2015. The Ultra Boost has become a modern icon. These Adidas Ultra Boost DNA shoes combine a sleek, stylish silhouette with cutting edge technologies to create your shoe that you can wear anywhere. To me, that means this is Adidas way of saying this sneaker right here is no longer a performance running sneaker. This is gonna be created on the lifestyle side of things, maybe similar to like Adidas Originals, but they're calling it the Ultra Boost DNA. And the reason why this is confusing to me, at least as a consumer, I saw about five versions of Ultra Boost DNAs, and I couldn't find one thing amongst all of them that had a similarity or something that was a commonality amongst any of the colorways that I saw. A lot of them had a fused material around the guard of the shoe right up front here. I thought maybe that's what the DNA stood for, but there was other ones that did not actually have that. Some of them had the plastic heel cup on the back, some of them had leather, and some of them had suede, so that was another thing that I could eliminate. Same thing with the three stripes on the side. Some of these cages were actually suede, some of them were leather, some were embroidered, and then some were plastic. The knit pattern on the toe box changed in every single situation, so there was no commonality in the knit pattern, but they're all different and they're not the one, two, three, or 4.0. The only thing that I could really say is common on every single one is that they have the continental traction outsole and they all have the Ultra Boost midsole in common. Everything else from the upper was sliced and diced in a bunch of different ways, and there was nothing on the upper that I could see that would make this be like a quote unquote DNA shoe. So I think this is Adidas way of saying uh, the Ultra Boost is no longer a running shoe. If you guys have other information out there that you guys have seen on this, leave a comment in the comment section and let me know because this is just news to me. Uh, I like the fact that they've rebranded it, but it's it would have been cool to actually see them tell more of a story there. And I think that storytelling is super important when you have sneakers and not just to add them to the description of a website that nobody reads except for occasionally people like me that actually do sneaker reviews. Um, and then I'm trying to tell their story for them. But unfortunately, I don't know enough about their story to even tell it. So that's a, that's the story I'm telling. <laughs> Back to this one specifically though, you can see this is the DNA box. It says Ultra Boost DNA, 9.5 is what I got. There's a little bit of a print around the back collar of the shoe, which is kind of nice. And it has that 1.0 sort of vibe to the back here uh, with that print. And it's just nice and subtle. Uh, and I like what uh, it looks like. There's a the little koi fish and stuff, but this is how uneducated I am. I thought koi fish and everything else was Japanese thing more or less, not Chinese. I mean, this colorway is pretty simple, but, and I have a bunch of different black ultra boosts, but I was like, ah, but they did a little thing different back here. Gold accents on the tongue and the heel cup. There's a little bit of reflective uh, on this section here. And then on here, there's like a little paint speckle of reflectiveness. And then around the second trim up here, but not along uh, this section. But they do have a fused material along the toe box to give you some added support and protection on your sneakers. Black boost material on the side. And uh, that's pretty much it. The, the pattern is really interesting. It's almost like a mix of a 2.0 and something else. I, I mean, it looks kind of like a 2.0-ish sort of material. Then you have black outsoles and then a little bit of a red, like the box for the torsion on the bottom there and then continental rubber on the tip. And then I figured I'd just show you guys the other one too because this is one that I actually really liked the look of when I saw them in, in person. So this is the Ultra Boost 20 and this model is really, really good, first of all. But this um, midsole, the fact that they're doing like painted midsoles now on Ultra Boost and like printed midsoles, I mean, like it's it's crazy. Like look at how cool this one looks. It's really an interesting like pattern uh, of like a koi fish through the midsole. I really, really like what they did to it. So a lot of people tag me on this and shout out to you guys that have tagged me on these even if I haven't replied back. But this uh, looks like kind of like a hydro dip sort of midsole, which is something that I've done over and over again. 
I don't think that they're hydro dipping this. I don't know how they're getting the transfer on these shoes, but it does look like a print. Even the areas on the other pairs of sneakers that I saw were, that were made to look like it was hand painted, it was, uh, it's definitely more of like a print over top of it. But so I believe this is a crane, as you can see, and it's embroidered on, which is cool. Everything's cool except for the head is cut off right here. And it's actually underneath uh, this. I'm assuming it's a crane because of the crane right here on the tongue that is like a, a fused uh, tongue with the gold on it, which is kind of a nice little addition. Really crazy, vibrant side of the shoe. And then just white on the back section and black around the heel. And then black fused material for the three stripes on the shoe. And then there's the 2020 uh, Continental Rubber on the bottom with the, the pink hit of the torsion on the bottom. But cool looking shoe, I think. I mean, I was sold on them when I saw them in person, like I said. I can't really make out what the upper looks like, but you could see from the toe box, it is a, sort of a weird pattern down here. I just can't really make out what it is. I wish I knew the story about every single pair of these. Unfortunately, I don't. I just saw this one and thought, oh, that's cool. I like the embroidery and the midsole execution. And uh, that's why I bought them. So anyway, that's the, uh, the look at the shoes. What do you guys think of the Ultra Boost 2020s as well as the uh, DNA joints right here? Okay, so that's the end of the video. Thank you guys for stopping by and watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you guys would like to subscribe to the channel, feel free to do so. Notification bell to be notified of when the videos are posted. And if you guys want to buy either of these pairs of shoes, then you can in the description as well. Uh, have a good rest of the day and we'll see you guys for some more videos soon. Peace, guys.